we can add a root to access server. So different routes can have different paths. When we visit a different paths, we will get a different response. In main function, we create a basic access HTTP server. In this HTTP server, we create a access application. So after this new function, we can call root method to add a root. Here we add a root is pass is slash. We give it a method get. Then we call two method to add a handler. We just pass a, a single closure as a handler. Just return a response home. We can add multiple routers to access application. So after this router, let's call router method again. Let's give it a pass slash hello. Let's also give it a method get. Then let's call two method to add a handler. Let's pass a single closure. So let's copy this. And let's pass it here. Let's return a content. Hello. Let's add another router. Let's give it a password. Let's give it a method guide. Then two. Let's pass a single closure as a handler. Let's return content word in this handler. Then let's start our server, cargo run. Let's go to the web browser. Let's visit a local host 3000, press enter. So you can see it will send a response home. When we visit this slash pass, it will send a response home. Then let's visit a local host 3000 slash hello, press enter. It will send a response hello. So when we visit this router, it will send a response hello. Then let's visit a local host 3000 world. It will send a response world. So when we visit this router, it will send a response world. This is how we add routers to access the server. Hope to see you next time.